There is no denying that dog is man's best friend. But do you know what dogs are physically capable of? My eyes were open when I began my journey into the world of this dog, a sport started by a rebellious teen, Alex Stein, and his whippet dog, Ashley. They broke in the Dodger Stadium during the ninth inning in 1974 and began to expose the world to this new frisbee dog phenomenon. Alex throwing 50-yard bombs only to have Ashley Whippet pluck them out of the air seven feet above the ground. It was a sight to see. Stadium security shortly showed up to arrest the duo, but the crowd began to express such anger that the security actually allowed Alex to finish his impromptu halftime show before taking him to the stadium holding cell. Since Alex Stein and Ashley Whippet had set foot on the field of Dodger Stadium exactly 40 years ago, the sport of disc dog has revolutionized from just distance throwing to events known as freestyle and toss and fetch. Freestyle revolves around the complex tricks, stunts, and athleticism of the canine and disc handler, while toss and fetch focuses on the accuracy of the thrower and consistency of the dog's catching ability. Each and every one of these disc dog competitors puts countless hours into training their dogs, building their relationships, and honing in on their individual tricks and skills. Annually, there are world championships held in different parts of the United States and Europe, where top competitors travel to compete and determine who is the best of the best. While winning trophies is always fun, that isn't what disc dogging is about. Disc dogging is a sport where no matter who you are or where you come from, we welcome you with open arms to our community of dog crazy fans. For us, everything is about the dogs. They are the reason that members of our community have been on television, radio, and news. We get opportunities that would not be presented to us if our dogs did not catch flying discs. My name is Andrea Riggler. I am the 2012 UFO Freestyle World Champion with my dog Moxie. Um, I am here this year uh, competing in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the Skyhounds World Final. I would probably say my, my biggest inspiration as a player uh, is Tracy Custer. Um, she's definitely my hero. She has the most positive energy out here and uh, she's, she's so friendly and so positive but she, she just crushes on the field with all of her dogs. Hi, my name is Tracy Custer. Um, I'm a dog trainer at Purina Farms and probably my best accomplishment is 2007 and 2009 USDDN Freestyle World, Ch world Champion. <laughs> uh, it's a great job because it's very similar to what we did on the road performing but you have much more stability. Um, we work for a large corporation, we get benefits, all the good stuff that comes along with a, a big job like that. Um, we do about 550 shows a year, um, shows usually at the farm. My name's Chuck Middleton. I'm a 10-time world champion. I've won three AWI world championships, three USDDN world championships, three Skyhounds world championships, and one UFO World Cup world championship. And a buddy of mine bought a book called How to Teach Your Dog to Play Frisbee. That's what I want. I want that dog that plays frisbee. And so it was only probably about 30 days later that I actually had a dog named Flash, a Border Collie, that I taught to play frisbee. And literally from the moment that dog at about 12 weeks of age caught its first frisbee, his first frisbee, I was hooked on the sport. And I have literally never looked back. That book, it was in the late summer, fall of 1985. I started competing in 1986. Uh, my name is Andrew Hahn. I'm a part of Team Hero uh, DISC and also newly member of Purina Pro Plan Performance Team, uh, traveling team. We started doing DISC in 2009 just, just for fun. I was really into agility. I wanted to keep going with it. And next thing I know, it has taken over my life. I've got five dogs now. Um, Four of them played disc, and I bought them their own vehicle to travel in for 
competitions and now we do shows here and there um, and it's just kind of taken over my life.